One of the pleasures of driving through Britain's B roads is the place names. I mean, you don't come across villages like Buttock Point, Cockbridge, and Shaggy Burn when you're on the M6, now, do you? Up in Yorkshire, I'm about to enter Mythomroid. It does, sorry, I'm sorry, but it does sound like a cream, doesn't it? I could hardly sit down yesterday. Thank God for my Mythomroid. <laughs> this tiny Pennine village is home to the Dock Pudding, a unique breakfast dish whose main ingredient is wild dock leaves. Mythomroid is the only place it's made, and the locals are so proud of their pudding that once a year, today, they hold a world championship to find the best dock pudding maker. Ingredients are never varied, a tradition that's strictly enforced by local mayor and judge Betty Ward, who frightens the life out of me. Tradition is very, very important. It's just one of my things, because once a tradition is broken, then it gets forgotten and buried forever. So you should keep your traditions up if you can at all. This particular tradition goes back centuries when the village was so poor, the locals had to eat weeds. Today's dog pudding makers are keeping those humble memories alive. And now I'm going to help them by taking part in the annual competition. And first, I need the ingredients. Picking bloody weeds out the side of a cycle path. The leaves gathered, I persuade another pudding maker to lend me her kitchen. I then boil the dock leaves with stinging nettles, yes, onions and oats. Should we put those in? Now, tradition dictates that the pudding should also include bacon fat. Okay. But when vegetarian Yetta Howard won the championship two years ago, there was uproar. Because she left out the animal fat. Burn the witch, I think, was the headline. Well, no, 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 no. Do you want to see the headline? I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you. Yeah. What's ever happened to the bacon? Pudding yeah. judges stand in the dock. Oh, Hang the bitch, drag yes. her through town yes. naked. They didn't like it, did they? No, 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 no. So I had to write my own little letter to the Oh, answer. brilliant. Oh, great. So I wrote one. <laughs> Why don't you all go and... No. I'm surprised they printed this fabric. <laughs> oh, no, just a minute. <laughs> no. Yetta's little act of rebellion has inspired me. For my pudding, I've decided to add an extra ingredient I picked up back in Stilton. Yes. Come to daddy. Right. Adding the cheese could put me on a collision course with Mayor Betty, who will probably have me hanged under some local culinary law. Still, I think it'll taste rather good. Oh, you can smell that cooking, actually. That smells jolly nice. Do I get to taste? You sure do. Ah, is it hot? Just gonna burn myself. Of course it's hot. Mmm. Mmm. Ah! You've added a secret ingredient. I may have done. That really is great, isn't it? It is good. I really like it. And we, we look dockings all over the place where I live. Tons of them. When I'm having one of my Ponzi showbiz dinners, I go, guess what this is? I find it on the estate. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Now it's off to the championships, where I have to reheat the pudding with a full English breakfast in front of the whole village, including Betty. Would you like to cook the food, sir? Yes, please. Yes, let's go. <laughs> it's a poor man's breakfast, you know, fried with your egg and your bacon. I mean, yeah. there was a lot of oil today and it should never have been. Sure. They didn't have it in them days. No, no, they didn't. As you well know. What would they use? Just a, just a animal fat or something? No, bacon Dripping. fat, for bacon goodness fat. sake. Right. Yeah, it's your breakfast, yeah. yeah. Do you think a tradition is very important? Would you, would, it, would, it, would you be very sad if this tradition was to stop? Like Absolutely, so many because once this is gone, our heritage is gone. Yeah. It's unique what fetches people are here. Heritage, what's yeah. brought you here? Sure heritage, yeah. yeah. It's here, for goodness sake. Yeah. Open your eyes and look around. Yeah. Well, that's me told. But the mayoress is only warming up. Because as the cookathon begins, each contestant's plate is taken backstage for Betty and her fellow judges to pass their verdict. Quite nice. So has Mytham Royd got talent? Yeah. That was never cooked in a farmhouse kitchen. 
<laughs> Somebody's been trying to be a chef, I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't have raw tomatoes with your breakfast. Be For the presentation, it is the overall look of it. That mm. just doesn't look right. I'm quite nervous, actually. I really am. I'm quite, I feel like I'm, I'm sort of going to do a show or something. I'm quite... Evening, evening. Hello. And I'm right to be nervous. Cooking this pudding's hard enough, but I'm doing it in front of an audience. And these locals are experts. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and welcome to Celebrity Making an Arse of Himself. This is hilarious. You should see looking the other way. I'll just, I'll just make sure these sausages are hot through. We don't want any salmonella, do we? He, he got first prize of all the judges died. <laughs> it were lovely, she said, as she passed away. <laughs> Ten minutes of frantic cooking, and it's time for my dish to be judged. Thank you very much, Lee. Thank you. Not very pleasant. It's got something. They're not too well at clearing stalks, though, are they? I mean, look at that. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice and sweet, isn't it? Amazingly, Betty and Co seem rather impressed. They obviously haven't spotted the Stilton. The main fear now is that I might win, in which case I'll probably get lynched. Yes. Taste, texture, presentation. And mm -hmm. black pudding's lovely. Because they'll say it's a fix, you see. They'll say, oh, the cameras were here and fatty when there's something going on here. And then there'll be a punch up with the mayoress, which she'll win, trust me. Uh, do you mind? Well, that's the highest pointed one so far. Well, the votes are in. Let's go over to the returning officer. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a result. Um, I'd like to call in third place, Jane Kennedy. Yay! Yay! In second place, I would like to call Mr. Robbie Coltrane. Well, there's a relief. Recognition for my efforts in the kitchen. But no cries of cheat. I even get a smile from Betty. It's a rather brave and interesting thing to do, to call something the World Championship when almost no one else in the world's aware that it's going on. But there's something rather sweet about it. Because, um, well, I did come second. 